ladies and gentlemen my name is dr jones why not tv please subscribe end of illegal immigrants in sa look at who bma is working with to stop illegal immigrants end of illegal immigrants in sa look at who bma is working with to stop illegal immigrants Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Why not TV? Please subscribe. In a significant step toward enhancing regional cooperation, plans are actively underway to ensure the seamless and legal movement of people and goods through the Libombo border gate, the border Management Authority BMA Deputy Commissioner David Chilembe recently met his Mozambican counterpart where both officials signed a crucial agreement to bolster collaboration and efficiency at the border. The Libombo border gate a vital link between South Africa and Mozambique has long been a focal point for trade and transit activities. Recognizing the importance of smooth border operations, Deputy Commissioner Chilembe expressed the confidence that the signed agreement would pave the way for enhanced cooperation and streamline the processes. This collaborative effort is a testament to the commitment of both countries to facilitate legal movement and trade, benefiting our economies and fostering stronger ties, remarked the Commissioner Chilem. The agreement encompasses a range of measures aimed at optimizing border management including information sharing, joint patrols, and coordinated inspections. Such initiatives are designed to mitigate delays and enhance security, ultimately facilitating the legitimate movement of people and goods while ensuring strict adherence to legal protocols. The collaboration between the BMA and the Mozambique's border authorities underscores the shared commitment to regional stability and economic growth. By fostering an environment of mutual trust and cooperation, both nations aim to create a more conducive atmosphere for trade and travel across their borders. The Libombo border gate has historically been a bustling hub of cross-border activities, making effective border management crucial for the prosperity of the surrounding regions. The signed agreement not only reflects a pragmatic approach to addressing uh, logistical challenges, but also serves as a model for other nations seeking to enhance regional cooperation. As the collaborative efforts take place and shape, stakeholders from both sides are optimistic about the positive impact on trade facilitation and overall economic development. With an eye on the future, Deputy Commissioner Chilembe expressed the confidence that the strengthened cooperation and collaboration would contribute significantly to the prosperity and stability of both South Africa and Mozambique. Looking at another news, the Department of Home Affairs extend working hours once again. The Department of Home Affairs extend uh, working hours. The Department of Home Affairs has announced that it will extend its office hours tomorrow 
to facilitate the collection of identity documents, recognizing the importance of providing accessible services to citizens. The department aims to streamline the process of individuals awaiting their official identification. Starting tomorrow, the Department of Home Affairs offices will remain open for an additional two hours beyond the regular closing time. This initiative is part of the department's ongoing efforts to enhance customer service and ensure a more convenient experience for those needing to collect their identity documents. This decision comes in response to the growing demand for efficient and timely document processing. By extending the operation hours, the department aims to reduce waiting times and accommodate individuals who may face challenges during regular working hours. Citizens are encouraged to take advantage of this extended time frame to collect their identity documents promptly. The department emphasizes the significance of having valid identification and urges individuals to check the status of their documents online before visiting the offices to ensure a smooth and efficient collection process. These uh, proactive measures align with the Department of Home Affairs commitment to providing accessible and responsive services to the public. It reflects a customer-centric approach to address the needs of citizens and acknowledges the importance of identity documents in various aspects of daily life. In conclusion, the extended office hours for identity document collections at the Department of Home Affairs signify a positive step toward improving service delivery. By accommodating the diverse needs of citizens, the department demonstrates its commitment to efficiency, accessibility, and customer satisfaction. This initiative reflects a proactive approach to address the evolving requirements of the public fostering a more seamless and convenient experience for all. Ladies and gentlemen, bye for now. Till we meet again next time. Subscribe.